the CV-90 Infantry Fighting Vehicle is the latest addition to Steel Beast Inventory and probably the most heavily armed IV worldwide. Developed by Heglon Zemkoforsch for the Swedish Army, it is and will remain among the most modern and capable IVs worldwide. The CV-9040 variant, modeled in Steel Beast, is notable for its heavy armament, the Beforsch L70 machine cannon of 40mm caliber. Steel Beast offers two versions, the older CV-9040B and the CV-9040C with its heavier armor protection and the upgraded fire control system. The CV-90 is being operated by a crew of three, commander, gunner and driver. In addition, the B version carries a squad of seven, the CV-9040C has a reduced squad size of six. Both of them can find in mounted and dismounted operation. The armament is impressive. Laser rangefinder, thermal imaging system and a fully stabilized gun of the first round hit probabilities comparable of both of the main level tanks. The CV-9040 will fire single rounds or salvos of 4 or 8. For the older B version, the ammo capacity is 240 rounds in total. The CV-9040C carries just 120 rounds of them, but of improved lethality. In the CV-9040C, three different ammunition types are available. The Kinetic Energy or APFSDS round. It is dangerous even to main battle tanks, except from the front. The High Explosive Multipurpose round. and the innovative programmable proximity fused and pre-fragmented round with a multitude of fuse settings. This 3P round is available only in the upgraded fire control system of the CV-9040C. The B version can fire all but the 3P ammunition type. The commander's place is dominated by the white navigation display to his front and the sight extension of the gunner sight left and above of it right next to the frontal vision block. Further to the left are the control panel to launch smoke grenades and the controls for the radio set. Looking to the rear and below you can see the semi-ready carousel magazine with its up to 48 rounds. From here squad members will quickly refill the three magazines for the gun system. The gunner seat offers the vision block, the thermal camera sight, and the auxiliary day sight below the two. The thermal view offers magnifications of 8 and 24 times. The day sight is limited to 8x. In the real vehicle, the gunner's handles have a multitude of switches to quickly change fuse settings and weapon selection. In Steel Bees, it is therefore necessary to memorize a number of new hotkeys to accomplish the same procedures. The CV-90 squad can fight in both mounted and dismounted mode. Usually it will mount the vehicle with hatches open. The platoon commander can give the order to button up. Unbuttoned, however, the squad's assault rifles and machine guns, as well as four pairs of eyes, can be employed to cover and protect with a full arc of 300 degrees to the sides and rear of the vehicle. This will make it quite difficult for a concealed enemy to sneak up to the vehicle undetected and blow it to smithereens with a single RPG. In Steel Beasts, urban combat may now be one of the few occasions where such an attack is still possible. When dismounted, squads will now occupy battle positions inside of buildings. This makes them a lot tougher in urban environments. They can shoot out of buildings and use them for cover and concealment. From now on, enter seemingly deserted villages at your own risk. Another new tactical element in Steel Beasts 
are unmanned ground vehicles or UGVs. Drop them by hitting the hotkey for downward movement when in control of a squad. You will be transferred to the remote control view mode, F2, which is similar to the normal external view of the squad. The difference is that it automatically follows the direction to the ground vehicle. Movement commands like W, A, S, D and X are now being interpreted as steering commands to the ground vehicle's remote control. You can move it up to 300 meters away from the squad's location. Beyond that distance it will stop its movement. The F3 key brings you to the camera view of the UGV. It is equipped with a day sight and a thermal camera mounted on an elevatable sensor mast. Raise the mast with the upward movement key and retract it with the downward key. The camera offers a powerful zoom lens. Zoom in by pressing N and out with Shift N.